Pure Fiction is my third album, and when I was making it, I was kind of in the back of my head thinking about some of my favorite artists who sort of, I think, figured it out on the third record, like Billy Joel and Springsteen and Prince and some of these guys that, like, it finally came together, and I sort of was aiming for that myself. I felt like maybe my first record was a little bit of beginner's luck, and the second album was Growing Pains, and then this new album, it felt like everything had been converging to this point where I had all this knowledge to be able to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. This is your Born to Run. Exactly. Isn't that Spring Things it's, it's your words, not mine, but yeah. <laughs> now, you cited some uh, influences, I guess is a good term to put it. Uh, the Beatles, you've mentioned Elvis Costello. Yeah. I think you've mentioned Stevie Wonder. Um, are there any uh, contemporary uh, artists you particularly admire? Yeah. Um, I love Vampire Weekend and Fun's record I really liked and uh, uh, Frank Ocean. I spent a good month being jealous of his voice and like what he could do. And uh, I think it's a really interesting time for pop music right now. You know, I think people are kind of pushing the envelope and people, I think the iPod has made it so all kind of genres have kind of converged together. And, and that's really exciting to me because I love all kinds of music and I like to squeeze as much as we can into one record. I think there's more guitar than ever on this record, actually. I've had some people say, like, well, you know, it used to be more like maybe 50-50 piano and guitar, and now this album's almost a lot more guitar. And, and um, But, I mean, to me, the biggest thing always with all the songs, the test is, can I strip it down to an acoustic guitar? Can I play it with just me and the guitar? And that's how you tell if there's a real song behind it or if you're just, if you're just hiding, you know, with smoke and mirrors and, and technical tricks and stuff. When you write yeah. a song, do you... Do you come up with a strumming pattern? Do you come up with chords? Or do you have a melody in your head that you're trying to match it to? Um, well, I toured solo for years and years. That was how I could make it work, was I would just beg every club and promoter and booking agent and band to like, just let me open. I don't care. I'll, I'll, I'll take no money. I don't care. I'll fly anywhere. And so that's what I would do is like people would be like, we got a random date in Indiana. If you can get there, you can open for us. And I would just fly around. And that was possible because it was just me and the acoustic. So from the very beginning, it's always been about how do I keep my own tempo, how do I keep my own beat, and so I think a lot of that stuff is really built in to when I'm writing the songs. You know, if I sit there, I've got to create some kind of a environment right away.
And I'm watching you, watching And I am watching you, watching him And I am watching you, watching I played Aladdin on my, I think my first record sounds like this. There was one in the studio and it, there's a lot of it on, on the record and I loved it. And my, I used to play like a Martin knockoff that I'd had since I was a kid and I was looking to upgrade something bigger and better that I could tour with. And uh, I called up the producer, said, what was that guitar that I was playing? It was just so warm, but also so easy to play. And uh, he said, that's Aladdin. So I did some research and I live in New York City where I was lucky enough that there's some shops that actually just carry them so I could go out and, and check them out and play. And uh, I just love it. It's got, a, it's got a big, full sound, but it's, it's also, you know, can, can get really small if I needed to, so. How would you define your, your music? You know, I've been trying to figure it out for years and years. One time we were coming across the border from Canada into America, and, and uh, they, they were like, what kind of music are you? They are like about to send us on their way. They are like, what kind of music do you guys play? And I was like, acoustic soul. They took a look at us. They're like, "Pull the bus over. We're inspecting it." So I stopped saying acoustic soul. Um, I don't know. These days, I just say pop music because it's meant for everybody. Mm -hmm. 